number of incidents when a person of color dies at the hands of police. But they have also taken heat for seeming to ignore the issue of black lives lost to street violence in the black communities. When protesters marched through St. Louis, angry over the shooting death of a young man who allegedly had pointed a gun at a police officer, a woman by the name of Peggy Hubbard took to Facebook to share a message that would get national attention. She challenged the group over the murder of nine-year-old Jamila Bolden, who was killed last month when a stray bullet came through the wall of her mother's bedroom while the little girl was doing her homework. She died in her grandmother's arms. Listen to Peggy Hubbard's message. Are you kidding me? Police brutality? How about black brutality? A little girl is dead. You say black lives matter? Her life matters. Her dreams matter. Her future matters. Her promises matter. It matters. But night after night after night, murder, 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 murder. Black on black murder. But yet you are out there tearing up your own It's not your other people's for a criminal, for a thug. You're yelling the police. You. You're shooting out the police. Police drops your ass. Oh, poor so-and-so. He died due to police brutality. 127 homicides later. Y'all want to holler police brutality? Black people, you're a joke. You're tearing up communities over thugs and criminals. You think the police are out here for fun? You think they're here, out here for games? You shoot at them, they're going to shoot at you. That's just the realism of it. If you, if you try to kill them, their job is to serve and protect, not serve and die.